So hello everyone, welcome to All India European Education. So today we are here in IIT Ropad, and uh, today I got an opportunity to meet a research scholar that is Saiful. So hello Saiful. Hello sir. And welcome to you in Europedia. Thank you sir. So Saiful, first of all, uh, uh, can you tell us something about yourself? Okay. So my name is Saiful Bali Khan, and I did my uh, bachelor's and master's from Aligarh Muslim University. Good. And uh, then for one year, one and a half year, I I did uh, uh, teaching in one institute in Bareilly, and then I applied here and enrolled in PhD program. Okay, so are you entering in the PhD program after uh, B Tech or just no, after no, M Tech? After M Tech program. Okay, and uh, you also got an opportunity that is uh, PMRF scholarship, yeah. correct? So can you tell us something about the PM PMRF scholarship? So PMRF is basically Prime Minister Research Fellowship, which is a very prestigious scholarship in India. So in this scholarship, uh, you will get stipend of around seventy thousand in first year, then seventy five, then eighty five thousand, eighty, and then eighty five. Similarly, five thousand increment every year, plus two lakhs research grant every year. Okay. So it's a very prestigious scholarship where you can get advantage of. Good stipend mm -hmm. plus research grant, which can help you in uh, in uh, doing good research uh, pertaining to like you can buy uh, materials which you want for your research. So independently, you can do your research since you have research grant. Otherwise, sometimes funding is uh, crucial and sometimes you lack funding. So it helps you in getting research grant as well. So mm -hmm. you can do any testing. You can you okay, can visit, okay. you can do. Uh, different workshops and avail different courses and even you can go for trainings as well so it gives you immense opportunities okay okay so what is the pro procedure how any students who are in uh, entering into the phd how they can get this scholarship so this program basically have to uh, two different procedures like you can directly en enroll into phd through direct uh, admission through PMRF. Okay. And uh, second is the process in which you will uh, enter in PMRF through lateral entry. Like you enroll in PhD okay. and then you have a basic criteria of 8.5 CGPA. Mm -hmm. So once you cross that CGPA, you are eligible to apply in this in this scheme. Okay, okay. So once you apply, so your uh, your institute will nominate you. So first step will be your institute will nominate. Okay. So basically, there will be n number of applicants. From mm -hmm. them, based on your research profile and your research uh, proposal, they mm -hmm. will nominate you, and these nominations will go to the to the review panel, okay. and then the review panel will uh, will recommend your name, and then it will be selected by NCC in IIT Madras. Okay. Okay. Sure. So okay. So Saiful, uh, can you tell us something about your research laboratory? So basically, this is surface engineering lab where we tailor the surface properties according according to the need. Like for example, in turbines, we have uh, in like in in uh, hydraulic turbines, we have the pro problems of cavitation and slurry erosion. Mm -hmm. So accordingly, we coat the material so that it can uh, sustain those properties which are relevant to that environment. And similarly, in boilers where uh, high temperature mm -hmm. is available, so so we basically modify the surface property according to the uh, mm -hmm. application. Since uh, all the properties the material cannot have, and we cannot spend so much of money, so we we coat the uh, material in such a way so it can develop those kind of properties which is uh, which is should have uh, in that particular application. And okay, the, so in actually in this lab you have all solutions related yes. to surface treatment, yes. correct? And uh, those students who are interested to interested uh, to uh, do PhD or research work on this field, so definitely this lab can yes. help very nice, correct? Okay, so as a, after M Tech you have done your job, correct? Yes. And after one and a half year, you joined this PhD program, correct? Yes. So, what do you think? You are spending five years here. So, how it is fruitful for you? So, <coughs> so it can. It is very subjective. Like uh, once you enroll, so you learn many things in PhD, and. Uh, 
you can pursue your career in different different fields mm-hmm. like uh, i can go in research field in academics mm-hmm. or even i have opportunity to to you know work independently as a as a researcher or we can say a consultancy firm which provide research solutions mm-hmm. so basically uh, it will help you to get trained in such a way that you can you can think independently you can you can like what, what okay yeah. okay so so can you tell me one thing uh, how you enter into the iit for phd program what is the journey correct from your uh, ed, uh, application to till now okay. and how you proceed your phd okay. so different iits have different criteria like some iits will uh, will ask you your gate score for uh, shortlisting some do not so based on your like if you uh, you have done masters so some some iits exempt the gate okay uh, okay gate uh, eligibility so you fill the form and they will conduct written mm-hmm. or some iits do not uh, conduct written uh, written test but they shortlist you based on some qpi index like iit roper do so in some departments based on your uh, institute ranking and your marks so they will shortlist you shortlist you directly for interview okay so how you pro- how you enter so can you tell yeah. something about so, what is your journey okay. from the application and after core works and then comprehensive and etc yeah. so you apply for the uh, phd program then they shortlist you so either you have your interview then uh, written then interview or directly interview mm. so based on your interview you will be selected okay. so once you get selected you have to do 12 credits of course work mm-hmm. so you have to choose uh, different subjects and you uh, aggregate you have to complete 12 credits so once you uh, you earn those 12 credits mm. with minimum 7 cgpa mm-hmm. you are eligible for the next process mm-hmm. so once you complete the course work mm-hmm. then the next process is comprehensive written and oral examination mm-hmm. in which you have to take three subjects mm-hmm. from your course work mm-hmm. and then you have to again give its written and oral examination in front of your dc committee mm-hmm. so after giving this comprehensive written and oral mm-hmm. you your course work and comprehensive will end mm-hmm. you will again uh, enter into the next phase which is research phase mm-hmm. where you have to give your research proposal mm-hmm. so uh, research proposal is basically you have to tell what are the gaps you have identified what are the literature you have done and what are your objectives mm-hmm. on which you will be working in the next 3 4 years mm-hmm. so that will be you can say some big timeline Yes, research sir. proposal where you will tell your dc committee that you are going you have done this literature mm-hmm. and you will be working you you have identified these research gaps and objectives mm-hmm. and uh, on that you will be working for 3 4 years mm-hmm. and then after uh, like you will work and you will publish some articles and then after uh, you have done ample amount of work Mm-hmm. then you you will give synopsis mm-hmm. and after this synopsis you will submit your thesis and then defense so this okay. is the journey of phd okay very nice so okay thank you saiful for giving us these valuable informations for our viewers so once again thank you thank you so much for giving me okay well